What's up, Chumbas? It's Mike, aka RivTech, and it's finally here, Cyberpunk 2077, the game everybody's been hyped about. But if you play on controller, you may have noticed some issues with the aiming and the movement. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to fix that. This will work for PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox One, Series S, and Series X. All right, guys, to get started, I'm going to show you what it looks like without any of the settings applied. So as I'm moving and turning, it takes a long time to turn horizontally. And there's kind of like you see like a little delay and then it boosts. So if you watch here, it's like delayed and then boost. Delayed and then boost. Especially when you're moving and turning. I'm going to show you how to fix that. And then along with the aim as well, like sometimes it goes way too far to one side or the other. And it feels really weird turning and moving and shooting. So let's get into the settings. First thing you're going to do, you're going to press start. You're going to go down to the settings. You're going to go over to controls. Uh, I turn these uh, vibration. You could do it any way that you want to do. That's up to your personal preference. Outer dead zone. I set this to about 95. You want it as high as possible. Uh, what it says, if you read it on here, it adjusts how far you need to move the stick in order for it to register. The larger the outer dead zone, the less you have to move the stick. Right now, I have a horizontal sensitivity of 12 and 10. That's a lot higher than I normally have to play on. I normally play on like four or five on Call of Duty or Apex Legends. And the only reason I have it this high is because of the default settings in the game. So what you're going to do is you're going to go down. You're going to go right here to where it says show advanced options. You're going to change that to on. So right here, horizontal turning bonus. The turning bonus applies additional rotation speed when the camera control is fully pressed. So that's going to help with that little boost we were talking about earlier. So set that to 1.5. And now it's really simple. What you're going to want to do, you're going to want to lower all of this down to zero. That's zero. All of this goes down to zero. And then third person camera control. This will basically control like uh, when you're in the vehicle and stuff like that. So now you set everything to zero and this is where you can mess around with settings. So now we go and we back out when our game. It's so much easier to turn on the move than it was before. So everything that we're doing now is responsive so i go and which way i'm turning it automatically turns that way and then with the aiming the aiming is so much easier i'll show you a little bit of combat in the next clip all right so what i'm going to go over now is targeting so if you go into settings you can go into gameplay aim assist light aim assist standard and aim assist off. Aim assist off obviously is you're gonna do everything manual yourself when it comes to aiming. It won't lock onto them, it won't snap to them or anything like that. You can do light and snap to target. Snap to target is just when you go and you ADS, it'll lock onto the person. And you have to be a little bit closer with your cursor on light aim assist in order to lock on. And then standard, it tracks them a wider distance. So it'll look like this. So with standard, you'll see it like, you'll see the cursor draw towards them. See how it kind of like locks and I get locked in there for a second. And then when I snap, it snaps right to them. Another, I like to play personally on light is that when you're in a fight with a lot of people, um, it's hard to transition your shots from one guy to another. So this is what light looks like. Hang on! with the uh, snapping and then this is what none looks like or off you have, to, uh, tra you have to track everything yourself another thing that you can do to prevent crashes if you're on older xboxes or playstation 4s is you can go into your graphics settings right here and you can turn all of this off all of these are just like aesthetic extras they don't really do anything for your game. They don't help it run smoother. They actually make your system work harder. So by turning all these off, you can help prevent crashes and screen tearing and other issues that you'd have visually. All right, guys. So that covers it. 
If you found this video helpful, go ahead and like and subscribe. If there's something else that you'd like to know or another video that you would like to see, leave a comment down below. I also stream four days a week on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash RivTech. All right, guys, I hope you found this helpful. Good luck out there, Chumbas.